Hey everybody, it's Sir Mystic. Welcome back to Team Fortress 2, where we're doing more Two Cities tours. This is tour number 1 to 8, 18 in other number languages. Anyway, so yeah, we are on Bavarian Bop Bash in Rottenburg, killing some pyros as a scout. Now some people, you'll probably notice that whenever I do this mission with the three tanks, most of the time I always go scout when I could normally go pyro. And speaking of pyro, that one just killed me, but he's dead, so it's alright. You know, karma works out in the end. But I usually just tend to go scout just because, for one, I don't have a flug, and usually you could just go normal pyro with the normal flamethrower or rain blower or whatever your preference to greaser, I don't know. But I would rather just have a flog if I were to go pyro on any on any map, and only this map would you go pyro for anything. Of course, you should know that because, you know, you're probably a pro at uh, man up, and if you're not, then you should go pro and go on a team and all that stuff and whatever. I'm just kind of rambling, being weird anyway. But yeah, I, I got a comment from somebody saying, Oh, why don't you go pyro? Oh, you scouts are useless on the last wave for the tanks. Well, it looks like I just killed that tank, so what up, commenter? Nah, I'm just kidding. No, I, I actually don't have a flog, so that's just my reason for not going pyro. It's just because I don't have a flog, and I don't feel like using any of the other flamethrowers are necessary if you don't have a flog. And for some reason, I can't remember why we have two scouts. I think the other guy just wanted to go scout, but whatever. And oh, I couldn't save that soldier. No... He burned death rise, I threw my mad milk, that's unfortunate. I think I was a soldier, but anyway. So yeah, we're just doing this, you know, normal stuff. I seem to record, I, I think this is like my most recorded wave when it comes to the very last wave of the end of the, the tour. So, that's interesting. Second tank's almost done already, so that's pretty good. And yeah, so... Um, speaking of two cities and all that stuff, in terms of the project, I could actually um, keep doing that again because I figured out I actually opened up my computer in like the six or seven years that I've had my computer. I've never had to like take a look at the hardware or anything, but I finally did and I figured out how to take the case off and everything. I was trying to figure it out, but I didn't see the screw on the side that you have to unscrew <laughs> to open the case up. And so I did that finally, and it's just a normal HP case, so you know, that's that's just how they do, that's how they package it up and whatnot and it was incredibly dusty when, when I opened it up so that's the problem when it came to um, it dying when I tried to export really long videos as I talked about in a previous one before previous man up Australian adventures video so yeah but yeah so we completed this and oh yeah actually my friend who's actually um, this guy coming up Vemmins he actually played with me this is his 10th door he's He's kind of, he's pretty much following me in steps and trying to get an Australian. He actually got two, as I mentioned previously. That he is actually the guy that got the two Australians, and we got nothing once again, which is glorious. Not really. I kind of wish we could get something else, but now this really ticked me off. This Natalie. I don't know if it's a girl. I'm guessing it's a girl because you know the name Natalie and everything. So as you can see, she got four things, which means she got an Australian. She got a Vitasaw professional kit, but she got a strange extinguisher Australian, which, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure extinguishers are the the cheapest Australian, but still, it is Australian. I mean, she got it on her first tour, I'm pretty sure. It looks like number two. She just completed the first tour, so that's kind of obnoxious. And yeah... There we go, and then the other scout he completed. Once again, I don't know why we got a second scout, but whatever. And so, yeah, there is tour number 18, done and done. And, yeah. So I was briefly saying that um, I can record the other uh, for the project. I can do that now because my computer is good to go. Anyway, so we got a Hav Zodoichi kit, kill streak kit, which is okay, and then a Brass Beast kit, Fabricator, which I think I scrapped. And with that, I will see you all later for the next.